this study was to assess the extent to which the proficiency, the technical skill of the operating surgeon is a major driver of outcomes. So there's two main findings of this study. The first is that among the 20 surgeons that were in the study, there was a remarkably wide variation in peer rating of surgeon skill. On a scale of one to five, the surgeons at the lower end of the spectrum had ratings of approximately 2.5. Um, the surgeons at the higher end of the spectrum had ratings of between 4.5 and 5. The second major finding of this study was not simply that the skill of practicing surgeons vary, but that that skill is just a huge determinant of a patient's risk of having a complications. The complication rates of surgeons that were rated as having lower skill were almost three times as high as the complication rates of surgeons uh, rated as having higher skill. So for example, the overall rate of complications was 14% was among the lower skilled surgeons. It was 5% among the higher skilled surgeons. Patients of lower skilled surgeons were more than two or three times as likely to go back to the operating room for secondary operations. They were three times as likely to get readmitted to the hospital. They were three times as likely to bounce back to the emergency room after surgery. For this particular study, we focused on a subset of the Michigan bariatric surgeons that do a sufficient number of cases and have practices that involve a large number of gastric bypasses, which are among the technically most complicated types of bariatric surgery. This study has really important implications for all types of individuals and groups that interface in some way with the profession of surgery. This study has major implications for how the profession self-polices itself. The obvious implication of this study is that surgeons need to practice more, but I'm not sure that's it. Surgeons practice plenty. We all do hundreds of cases every single year, and what we need is not just to do more cases, but to learn how to do them better. We believe that a systematic, data-driven approach to coaching could make all surgeons better. And that implies not simply practice, but deliberate practice, coaching, and feedback about what it is about the way that we do certain types of procedures or how well we do them that could be better.